Yeah. Welcome to snack time with Kylo Ren. <laughs> I bought some yogurt covered pretzels. Oh I don't like chocolate covered pretzels. I only like yogurt. They're so much better. People think I'm crazy. Don't at me. Don't at me. Don't yeah. at me. This whole bag only has three grams of sugar. <laughs> satisfies my sweet tooth because I love candy. It's wine infused salami. It's oh. hot. That's very classy. <laughs> <laughs> the good stuff. Gee. Bougie. Kenny, how's it going? Hi, it's good. <laughs> what, are you feeling? what are you feeling? I feel like real happy. <laughs> I just feel like... <laughs> are you like aware that you should be anxious or anything? Or what do you feel? But you just don't feel it? <laughs> I like feel like I'm anxious and then there's just no further thought. My brain is just putting a period at every thought. And that's it. <laughs> Great. So I'm just taking a look around, seeing what I like, and I love this. Pre meat fuel. What do you think, fish? Let's just get ice cream. <laughs> Whoa, there's just too many choices. You can't decide. I'm thinking about something vegan because I don't eat meat anymore, except for fish. I hope there's a place to heat this up so I just bought salmon in, in a bag. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> What I want. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, got him. All right, here we go. Oh my God. So this is Project Runway Oscars edition. You are going to make an Oscars gown out of trash bags and. Tea. Oh, I know. So yeah. Want to make this shirt? Yeah. Okay. We're making um, a matching jewelry set to go along with her dress, and we're making a choker right now. <laughs> half of us want to do like a gown, and then half of us want to do like a pant. Push your halter, halter, halter. And you don't have to cut it. Never mind, we're doing a halter top now. <laughs> We're struggling with making them stick. This is a little ironic considering it's duct tape. We're making little flowers to put on his dress. Like my creativity skills aren't like the best. I said yes to the dress! I'm going to the Oscars. I've been so oh, much better. This made my day, like for real. <laughs>
the whole halter and the waist and the back and the slit and the train, like very nice. I'm very impressed. And then the bow in the back, the crown. I mean, I give you guys both a 10, I'm sorry. I'm just such a sucker. Nora, I would have to give this a 9.85, and I would have to give P a 9.9. .9. Ours was way more detailed. We 100% won. We're really disappointed. And it's all Dom's fault. What a spectacular spring day in the desert. The 30th ranked Sun Devils hosting the number four team in the land. The first part is good. That was good. Hey, hey, no. A mess. Open. Breathe. No matter what, Nora, get the pizza. I got you. Where's the pizza? Hey, it's okay. Okay, now breathe and relax. Have fun, okay? Seriously. It's just gymnastics. Be with your team, be present. You can do it. Okay. Okay? Take a breath and trust yourself that you're going to do it. It's going to be beautiful. Okay. Love you, Coach Green. I love you so much. Ross, she's ranked second in the nation individually speaking. She won't be competing two of the events, but they can make these changes. They can afford that because other people are stepping up. So the ball runway is very short. We all start like right where it ends. So we have to add a mat. Like <laughs> Gracie starts at the end of this extension mat. I don't know what's happening. Oh. Ah! <clears throat> okay, Brew. We are literally halfway through the season already. We only got half left. So you think about that for just a moment. It's like, why wait a week or two weeks to make this the brightest, most <laughs> fun meet we've had yet? So we get seven more opportunities together. Let's act like we have one, though. Let's act like we have this one only. Upgrade. They used my nickname instead, so they wouldn't spell it wrong. But we didn't use a napkin. <laughs> we used a real piece of paper this time. Um, I live 20 minutes away from here. I graduated in this arena, so <laughs> oh, it's kind of weird. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> oh, God. Into the unknown challenge. Marzetta Frazier, who's been a key component in this bars lineup, they actually left her at home. She tweaked her ankle, and they really just want her to heal. If she was in here, they would have three athletes ranked in the top five. That is huge for this bar lineup. So we learned today 30% more spray because we are in the desert. So I'm measuring all these 30% in my head because I'm smart and I like math. Savannah Coleman. This is an athlete who really paid her dues. She exhibitioned a lot last year, got in just a couple times, but we've been seeing a lot more on, a, on bars this year, and it's really paid off in her performances. Yeah! Oh, she, Gracie Kramer just smacked her in the face. I'm glad we got that on camera. She hit me the eyeball so hard. I literally felt my nail go into her cornea. It feels kind of funny. You're gonna see why she's ranked number one in the country individually on this event. <laughs> there is nothing to deduct here. Should I do the Shakira? <laughs> you got it, vault! The person they're missing in this vault lineup is Kyla Ross. She's actually just resting this weekend. She's been doing all around every single week. Let's go, Kenny. Kenny is in, is that fine? They're trying to make me look bad. 
Wait, BJ, I don't know what number. Grace is doing a full. Is that good? It's in you guys. You just have to trust and believe it. We're here supporting you. No way, okay? One, two, three, press! Oh, is there no sting? Sorry. Did they take it out? I thought it was in. I'm confused. No sting! Oh, wait, no, wait. I've never done this in my life. I don't know the vault. Apparently, you have to put a number for each vault. I'm a little overwhelmed. <laughs> Kenny was about to go and he was like, not right. I'm like, I was like, who's in charge of it? I don't like this job. I'm too stressed out. Yes! Oh my gosh! Kia Nation! Are you laughing at me, fanning myself off? I should stay here. I'm, my I'm not good at my job. I need to be better. I'm learning. You don't know what this is. It's a meme. Deanna doesn't know the meme. Let me get the tack tin. It's so weird having you over here. I like I'm on it. the mic too. Wow. You never get to be on the mic. I know. You're a Deanna was like, lady. I get to give you the mic? Yeah. You got it, Chloe. Chloe Lashbrook now. Grew up out here in Arizona. Yes. She's starting to get some experience in this floor lineup, and I'm seeing this performance quality really stand out to me. Come on, Chloe, turn it over. You're tight, come on! Good, strong tumbling passes here, clean landings. This is the best floor routine I've seen her do as a UCLA Bruin. Yes. Oh Felicia Hano. Last year, she was such a staple in this lineup. She's looking to get back to that position. Had an ankle injury, <laughs> so she's just now starting to get her groove back on this event. Finishing double back, no problems there. <laughs> For Grace Glenn to score a 9.975 more than once in this leadoff spot, that leads me to believe she is capable of scoring a perfect 10. That is a goal for her. She wants to earn a perfect 10 in this leadoff spot because it's believed to have never been done before. I don't know if the judges are in the mood today. <laughs> you're a 10, you're a one, and your eyeshadow is a 10 too. You, I got this. You got it. You're in control. Go, Nori. Tall, tall. Yes, yes. 8-2 on the year for UCLA. They are victorious. They did well, but they have the potential for more. Next week, there is no fight. It is just go. All out, no hesitation, 10-0, showtime. Okay? Good work. So, Ann and I are both eating tofu today. I'm eating with a knife. Because there's no forks left. I feel like I just don't see you during the day. Yeah, that's true. Oopsies. I'm going pescatarian for the last like three weeks now because I'm in this food politics class, which is very interesting. Watched a documentary called Dominion. Changed my whole perspective. And now I'm trying to eat better for the environment and for the animals. Save the animals. You have to save the animal. You can't even say that. <laughs> You're eating meat. <laughs> Not oh, today, yeah. but like <laughs> you still eat meat. We got sweet potatoes, Brussels sprouts, I already ate my tofu, zucchini, peppers, and some rice. Very sustainable. Mm hmm. Pull is also going plant based. We've been just eating a lot of veggies and tofu and different other types of protein. Mm. So I had to go um, talk to our nutritionist because. I feel like I've lost some weight from not eating meat, which is a good thing, but also I feel like I've lost some muscle mass, which is a bad thing. So I had to go talk to her to make sure I was getting the right food that I need, especially the right amount of protein, as well as like those other nutrients that you need to perform at the level that we do. And she gave me some great recommendations on other types of food, like lentils, quinoa, and other things that have plenty of protein and iron in it. So I don't lose my muscle which we don't need to lose at this point in the season. <laughs> is this story? <laughs> my neck cracked. <laughs> when we're at home, I usually sleep in as long as I can. And then slowly get ready. We're gonna compete against Utah, 
which is really exciting because we are both ranked third right now. So I feel like it's going to be a fun meet. I started this year always taking the selfie and sending it to my family before I go into Pali. I don't even know if they are awake or not because of the time change. Oh, <laughs> she's picking up her bra. <laughs> it's probably Nikki or something. I think Nikki would drop her bra in the middle of the stairs on campus. give cards or little gifts to our Bruin buddy throughout the year. Each meet is supposed to be anonymous, but I knew it was fish from the first week, so now she knows she was caught and she just signs fish. <laughs> How do you know it was her? I could read her handwriting. That's okay, the person who I have knows I have them, so we know each other too well for this. I honestly don't know. I keep trying to figure it out, but they keep kind of switching it up. How, like handwriting? Or like what? handwriting and like what they say. Like I try to like, tell who it is by what they say, but they're switching it up, so I don't know. Um, a piece of notebook paper that says Grace on it every week. Ever I've been since the napkin? Ever since the napkin. I haven't written my Bruin Buddy card yet. Do you have paper or a napkin or a pen? No. <laughs> I'm, so sorry. I'm gonna end up writing on toilet paper. <laughs> Whoever has the most after five lightning rounds gets 200 points. Go! No, you're blocking stuff! That's all I gotta say. They want the oh, gold team to win. Them. They were taking ours out of the hole. And she was blocking shots. I she was not blocking shots. And got all of our beanbags hit her. No. I saw it. It was like boom, 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 boom. That was after the buzzer. Sorry. We're just competitive, okay? We're just competitive. But gold won, so. Nia, how are you gonna celebrate your birthday? I'm going to have a party in Polly Pavilion with all my bestest <laughs> sisters. Club <laughs> of full of love. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, I'm so grateful, so thankful, so happy. My heart is so full. Today I got to be with all my sisters. I'm just chilling because I need to calm down, number one. I've been dancing for like two hours straight because it's my birthday and I have a lot of energy and adrenaline. And two, because we just finished ball warm up and I'm not doing bars, but I'm gonna go back out there and cheer my team on. But I'm just taking a little break so I could re charge practice was really good this week the team as a whole really elevated and focused on details and we got even closer our bubble got even tighter we've been incredibly vulnerable this year and we've been able to come out to each other open up to each other and really have that foundation of like trust like the most trust I feel like we've ever had and that just allows us to be free and that's when we do our best anyways. We just go have fun and fly. I'm so excited for today. So excited. This week has been amazing. We've been through this adventure of ups and downs and sideways and learning together and setting this super high standard. That means that you trust yourself. That, you, that means that you believe that you are everything you're supposed to be at this moment and your team has your back, and you're willing to just stand on that edge of the cliff and know you can fly. Are you guys ready? Yes. Are we ready to do this? Yeah! Okay, if you're ready to take the leap, take one step in. Take a deep breath. <laughs> this is without question the most significant regular season meet for these two outstanding programs this year. Loud and I 
think we scared her a little bit, but hopefully she felt the spirit. This is the kind of meet where you're going to see them be just a little bit faster, a little bit stronger, springier, more powerful. It's going to be a great one. Opportunity here for Savannah Coyman. An opportunity for UCLA to show what they're made of. Came up big. That's a great reset routine for UCLA. A 9-9 career high. What an impressive effort for the freshman. UCLA will be on the beam, and Utah goes to the floor. And these are the two events where these two teams have struggled. UCLA needs to put it down right now. Perhaps one of the best leadoff balance beam performers in the country. Grace Glenn is gorgeous on this one. UCLA has been chipping away at Utah all day long, and UCLA goes to the floor, separated by .075, less than one-tenth of a point. So who was more emotional, you or Anna? Oh, Anna. I didn't even cry. <laughs> Pula goes, I can't tell if this is sweat or tears. I'm like, it's definitely sweat. <laughs> I saw her crying. I did not cry. No, She's she lying. Did. She always lies to me. I want to try to do that in I was like, please cry. I think Anna was crying though. Anna was definitely crying. She was bawling. She was a little bit of a mess. We are in for a huge rotation. You want me in a corner? All these people that came here are party. Thousands. Okay. Great. Hey, have fun. Shut up. Happy New Year. Love you. Got this. Enjoy the party. Have fun. Mia Dennis, the junior from Columbus, Ohio. Fabulous. 
That was just all fun. So much fun in this arena right now. It is official. The score oh for Carla Ross, a 9975. She needed more than a 10 for UCLA to win. So what a huge victory for the visiting Red Rocks. Outstanding performance for UCLA in the final rotation. Great job. Guys, that was freaking awesome. You guys are amazing. Way to go, way to keep your chin up. We blew this place up. We didn't lose anything, we won the whole meet. We got a win at the You guys, this is the craziest day of my life. It doesn't stop. Every second, it doesn't stop. Like, I guess we're going viral. Are we going viral? We're going viral. Are we going viral? Are we going viral?